All right, guys, welcome to another episode of the Before Match Show. In this episode, something very, very special. We're here in Shinsekai, one of the oldest entertainment districts here in Osaka. Now, I'm here with Bennett. Bennett has been here in Osaka for almost 20 years, right? Yeah, about 20 years or so. Backstreet Tour is the most interesting tour. We go to places no one else goes, like dark, dark backstreets. In this video, I'm going to check out the Backstreet Osaka Tour, considered to be the most authentic tour of Osaka, including a local Japanese food adventure. We will eat yakitori, takoyaki, and delicious oden, but also something quite controversial like eating tarantulas, snakes, and even mealworms. We will also pay a visit to the mysterious red light district and Nishinari, the most dangerous district in all of Japan. The backstreet Osaka tour kicks off at the historic Imamiya Ebisu Shrine, visited by at least 1 million people on January 9th, 10th, and 11th, during which time businesses bring gifts that will promise them good fortune. Gifts ranging from 10 bucks to thousands of dollars. Now if you join the Backstreet Osaka tour on a Sunday, you may be in luck for a visit to the mysterious Shinsekai Market Street, which offers some of the most bizarre and daring foods I have ever seen. It's like you're getting ice cream, but instead you're eating insects. Oh my god, this is crazy! Oh, even scorpions! Let's start off this daring food adventure with some mealworms. Wow. <laughs> Oh, I'm not liking that. I want more of these. Are you serious? I just popped in my mouth. Once you crunch through the shell, mm. it just pops. It was time for my biggest challenge yet, the tarantula. I'm not gonna lie, I really hate hairy spiders. <laughs> And if you're lucky, the tarantula egg sac is still intact, so you'll be crunching down on a nasty spider ass. <laughs> a full blown tarantula. This looks so scary. Even the back here, man, this is crazy. The way it's all structured. I'm ready. Time for the tarantula. Ah! Ah! Now I'm dying it. Now I'm dying it. What do I get myself into today? Crunchy, yeah. yeah. I'm only eating the, the legs right now, so that's not so bad. I don't want to get to the ass. Apparently, the, there, it's full of eggs, like spider eggs. Ah! Oh. oh no! Mom! <laughs> Come on! Oh. Okay, I'm doing the whole thing. Tomate! Zembu! 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 Oh! Yeah! <laughs> Since I was on a roll, let's add a silkworm as well. You just swallow it. There we go. <laughs> the grilled snake, which was perhaps the most delicious street snack at this vendor. <laughs> Man, it's chewy. It's extremely crunchy chips. There's not much meat. Really over overcooked eel, yeah. Overcooked eel, yeah. Tasting a little bit like barbecue eel, known as unagi. Oh, she does Luckily, we were able to dump these mealworms with these lovely ladies. Drinks for sale at Shinsekai vending machines are easily half the price compared to anywhere else in Japan. As you can see, starting at only 50 yen, that is 40 cents US for tea, coffee, or a fizzy pop. But obviously, there is a catch the expiry dates. So from now on, you'll see a lot of alcohol vending machines. Eventually, the Backstreet Osaka tour reaches the inner core of Shinsekai, loaded with a ton of crazy restaurants like Zao. Here you can catch your own fish inside a boat within the restaurant. If you haven't yet, watch my full review of this self-fishing restaurant. Dude, that's so good. Next, the Yokozuna Tsutenkaku shop, where you can get the sumo-sized portions of food for ridiculously cheap prices. An eight-person portion of takoyaki 1280 yen, just 11 US dollars. Over 50 pieces of gyoza, 1480 yen, 
14 US dollars. This must be the best deal I've ever seen. These portion sizes are absolutely massive. All right, time for Osaka's most famous street food. The tour also includes a proper takoyaki experience. Hey, because a visit to Osaka isn't complete without some proper takoyaki. Takoyaki are fried batter balls with a juicy piece of octopus tentacle inside. These balls are huge compared to the, to the Tokyo version and they're so doughy just falling apart. Look at it steaming hot. Make sure you just don't bite right into it because you will burn your mouth. Open it up slightly, let it cool down. <laughs> this tour also stops at the traditional board game shop where you can watch senior citizens play Go and Shogi. And devoting their whole lives to uh, mastering these games. That's their day job. This is the mascot of Shinsekai, Billy Ken. In every city, every town, Every village has a mas mascot, and it's generally pretty cute. This guy, not so much. They actually stole this from St. Louis University in America. An exact copy. No Completely way. Completely stolen. They liked it so much, they made this the mascot. Time to cross the street into Nishinari considered to be the most dangerous district in all of Japan for its many homeless people, ghettos and the red light district which is entirely run by the Yakuza aka the Japanese Mafia Without any exaggeration, the most dangerous part of Japan You're with us, we know the protocol, we'll let you know how to act in those areas But first, more street food These are Japanese oden This is actually quite a unique shop These oden have been soaking here in a master broth which is over 3 years old the the tour passes through the Osaka ghettos to show you a different view of Japan, unseen by most tourists and Japanese locals, giving you a healthy dose of reality of living in the Osaka ghettos. Basically, the good, the bad and everything in between. You may even spot electrical wiring hanging loose throughout the streets. <laughs> Although this neighborhood is in poor state, the locals still have many ways to enjoy themselves, like singing karaoke on every street corner. Another stop is the tatami mat factory, where you can watch the entire process of restoring Japanese tatami mats. <laughs> Matsunoki Daimyonjin Shrine. This is a hidden shrine with an incredible ambience, maintained by the locals. After all that exploring, it is time for a little game. Yakitori are famous chicken skewers here in Japan. Japan is known for grilling absolutely every piece of the chicken, so you could be in for a true magical meat adventure. The most unique part of this tour is Tobita Shinchi, the secret red light district hidden deep away beyond the ghettos of Osaka. Red light districts are usually very sketchy areas, but Tobita Shinchi is elegant, tasteful, stunning and unlike you've ever seen before. Because this is a 1912 Taisho era red light district, which is incredibly well preserved, with links to the Yakuza, the Japanese mafia. But you do not need to worry, on this tour you'll be safe, as the guides will teach you all about the local protocol. Oh yeah, no tour to Osaka is complete without a proper isekaya cuisine, karaage, gyoza, tonpeyaki and nikudofu alongside a few cold Japanese beers. Kanpai. So thank you so much for coming. After the Backstreet Osaka tour, I highly recommend you join the Osaka Pop Crawl to continue your Osaka adventure in style. At the Osaka Pop Crawl, you can mingle with many locals and make many new friends. You can attend the Backstreet Osaka tour every single day. Click the link that shows up in the right top corner of your screen where you'll be able to purchase tickets for the Backstreet Osaka tour. You gotta get that takoyaki. As good as it looks. <laughs> If you are traveling from Tokyo to Osaka, make sure to take the Shinkansen bullet train. This insane train reaches speeds up to 320 kilometers per hour. Links to discounts for Shinkansen train tickets can be found in the description box below. Or purchase the special JR Rail Pass for unlimited travel all over Japan for either 7, 14 or 21 days. I truly recommend this pass if you're planning on doing a lot of traveling around Japan. Starting at around 270 US dollars but will save you a ton of money in the long run. Now perhaps the most important thing for your trip to Japan is a pocket Wi-Fi station. The Japanese use the Line app for day-to-day -day communication. So stay connected at all times by renting a super fast 
pocket Wi-Fi station for just $6 a day, which works all over Japan. Check the link in the description box below for another sweet 30% discount on a Ninja Wi-Fi router. Now go and visit reformat.com to download my complete Osaka map with all the places I mentioned in this video, including massive discounts, addresses, photos and my extra tips. Now go on please like this video and subscribe and press the notification bell right next to it so you'll receive an automatic update every time I release a new video. Now please help out The Reformat Show by sharing this video on all your social media or send it to all your friends that may consider of visiting Japan. As always, see you in the next episode and have yourself a fantastic day. Bye bye.